Hello. Okay. Uh, we we receive a, a package. Uh, I'm not going to show you the address. I thought this was your vlog, so I'm going to let you do it. I saw something black run through my yard. Like, with a cat. What? Mm -hmm. What? Want to over here? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I already said hello. Yeah, so we, we opened up the package. This is from Mommy Nerd. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure you're going to cut that out, right? That, hole, that, that hole. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, first thing that he sent me uh, was a little pincer. Um, I don't know what, what it's from. I mean, I know what pincer is from. I don't know what the whole daily is from. I the, from what I noticed, the pincer spins and it's like a little shuffle board. No, not a shuffle board. It's like a eight ball thing. Yeah, eight ball. Kind of. Yeah. So I'm. I'm what I. I have no idea what is it. What is it from? Pokemon trading figure game. So I'm guessing that you take it and you just probably spin it or whatever. So you spin the pencil. And then what it lands on is what its ability is during the game. Which would probably be, it sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, if it if you do it and it lands on, let's say, miss, I guess you, yeah. Miss. Yeah. Oh, that one's obvious. Um, and the next thing, well, first of all, uh, I guess he wrote on it Kanto. For the Kanto. He he said to ignore this, but I'm so sorry, Anton. Um, I can't ignore it. It it it, it, it fell out, and that was the first thing we saw, mm -hmm. and we were laughing about it. But the 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 best thing that that came with it, and I I really love this. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna probably wear these every day. Got some Pokemon badges. Yay. These are freaking amazing. Um, yeah, they're they're really cool. I really like these. Also, just saying, if you're wondering why I'm not on camera, I'm busy making macrame stuff. Yeah, she's she's doing her her little thing over there. I'm over here just recording my part of the package I received from Anton. So, mobby nerd. Yeah. or mobby nerd if you want to go with that, yeah. So, you know, oh the the boulder, the water badge, that whatever badge that, the rainbow badge, the yeah, mm hmm, yes, and yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't remember all the uh, badge names. I just know boulder, water. Hey, huh? Can you hand me that tape over there, please? This one? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. So yeah, this is a really amazing thing. I really love it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's it for this part. Um, it was just a little, little thing that I wanted to make sure I recorded. And I sent to Anton. Not, well, then sent to him, per se. Like just inform y'all about it. Yeah. He's going to see it later, hopefully. So. And that's, that's all about it. Thank you very much. I absolutely love it. And uh, I keep on supporting you. Bye. Bye. Rude. Oh, hey. Hey. My, my screen is still dirty. What's going on with that? Anyway, it's been a while since we've done this. We're on my laptop. It's at 43%. We're cooking dinner. We're like 30 minutes in. And it's going to take another hour. Yep, yep, it was hectic. Uh, we mm -hmm. kind of started late, and we're making a huge meatloaf, so it's going to take about an hour and a half for the meatloaf. Yeah. I flattened it out, out as much as I could, so it would cook faster, but mm. I took two dishes. Yeah. So, while we were at Walmart, checking out what what we're, what we're ingredients we needed for meatloaf, we spotted this. Chicken and waffles, honey bunches of oats. They also had a baking maple donut mm -hmm. cereal. But we went for the, the weirdest one. Yeah. So we have some milk and two spoons and a bowl, a small bowl, but a bowl nonetheless. All right. And this is in case it's so bad that we need something to taste good. Yeah. I don't, Not sponsored. Have you, ever, have you ever had those? 
No. They're really good. I recommend. Uh, even I though we haven't eaten them yet. Okay, we're opening it. Okay, let's let's do a little sniff. Hmm. Mostly taste. Yeah. That smells. You know what that smells like? That smells like the that those maple honeycombs. Oh yeah. I forget what they're called. Maple honeycombs, perhaps. <laughs> Okay. It smells really good. It smells okay. like syrup. Yeah, it smells very nice. We're gonna pour it into our little bowl. Cereal first. You pour it in cereal or milk first. Comment below. No one's gonna do that, but. Okay, so first we're gonna start out. Ah! Do you wanna try the individual piece or just try it all at once? Well, I was gonna try that piece, but we're gonna do this instead. They're shaped as little. Little chicken legs. Yeah. And we're going to try each piece. And then we'll try it as a whole bowl, I guess. You can try that one. And then a flake. We all, we all know what the flakes taste like. Also, so, what's your scale of, like, 1 to 10 of Honey Bunches of Oats? Like, what like what would you rank it as, like, a cereal? Honey Bunches of Oats? I really like Honey Bunches of Oats. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's a really good cereal. Maybe a, a, maybe up towards 7. Uh, my favorite one, my favorite cereal are Fruity, uh, those Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. I love fruity pebbles. Yeah. So ready? I already ate one, but like, right. it's like a flake. Mm -hmm. Next, the honey gum. It's a waffle. Waffle gum. Mm -hmm. Tastes like, like syrup. It's really good. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. the chicken. Yeah. I don't taste much chicken. Yeah, I don't taste anything like chicken at all. Strongly disappointed. Yeah. I was hoping for some for, for some cereal and chuckle. Yeah. We're gonna pour some milk in here. Lactose free. Lactose free milk. Yeah. Milk. Milk. Yeah. I get the tiny spoon. And I get the big boy. Let's mix mix it up a little bit. Whoops. And. What do you think? I would eat that every day. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but that's unexpectedly, Very. unexpectedly, ah, it's really unexpected. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was going to be very savory, you know. Yeah, but it's really sweet. It's like, it, the main flavor you taste is, it tastes is like maple syrup. Mm hmm You're not in frame. I'm never in frame. I first saw it at, the, uh, uh, at Walmart, and I was confused first, because that's an unusual combination, mm -hmm. but it it works as a cereal, and I know why. It's because you can't taste the chicken. You can't taste any. It doesn't taste anything like breading of a chicken or chicken, uh, fried chicken. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like maple syrup, which is kind of cheating. Mm -hmm. If you're going to make a cereal called chicken and waffles, you got to add that chicken in it. Yeah, it has that. It has to have that flavory. Is there ingredients on here? We can see where where the chicken comes in. Ingredients: uh, sugar, corn, cornmeal, yellow corn flour, whole grain wheat, whole grain oat flour, salt, rice, canola oil, corn syrup, caramel color, molasses. That might be what it's mainly made made of. I see cinnamon, honey, natural artificial flavor, onion powder, garlic powder. I don't taste any of that. I don't taste onion powder or garlic powder. And I mean, I, I guess that would make sense for the spices mix. Mm hmm. 11 herbs and spices, not KFC, not, not a sponsor. Okay. So yeah, I recommend that. Excuse me, don't let me talk with my mouth full. <laughs> yeah, that's really, that's really good, and I'll probably finish that whole box later on. Mm hmm. On a, scale, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you like it? Like like a 9. What would you rate it? Uh, I'll rate it about a 9, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get over my original favorite cereal. Yeah. But we cleared that bowl out. Yeah. All there's left is milk. Do you want that? I'll drink the milk. Okay. We have the vanilla cupcake goldfish. We walked by the goldfish. When we were going through Wal for, when we were going through Walmart again, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, we, saw, we saw a big 
goldfish container and we were like, we want goldfish. So I wanted pizza. Yeah. But she saw the, uh, I showed her this one and she was like, oh, I want that one instead. Yeah. So. Small one first. Mmm. It smells like cake. Yeah. Oh. I think her potatoes are boiling, so let's try this fast. You're the yeah. one that hasn't tried this. You try it. Okay. Oh, they're boiling. Really good. Really good. This tastes like a little... It tastes like a little vanilla cake. Just, you know, nothing special. Just vanilla cake. On a scale of one at a time, what would you rate it? A hundred. Because I love vanilla cake. Mm-hmm. I like vanilla anything. Mm. Oh, also, I just got this uh, clear American, basically sparkling water, which is peaches and cream flavor. You took a drink of it earlier. What did you think? Uh, as you can tell by the amount that's really gone, I like it. Let me try. I'm not a big fan of peaches and cream, because the one time I had it when I was like eight, I threw up. <laughs> Hmm, that's good. You shouldn't you shouldn't equate um, past experiences with, with experiences now. Yeah, you're right. It's like me saying I ate lingua and now I, I will eat it now. I won't eat it anyways because if you know what lingua is, then you'll re you know understand why. Stop the tongue at something, babe. Don't ruin it for other people. <laughs> that's none of my business. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I, think that's I, really it like them, I really like them a lot. Yeah. Well, so while we try some new stuff today, we're still making our dinner, so we will see you later. Next scene. Woo! Okay, I haven't vlogged in, little, in literally forever. What day is it today? April 17th. Basically, it's gonna hail and storm and be nasty today, so... There's no class, so I don't need to go to school today, which is nice. But I, that doesn't mean Jesus gets the day off of work. No, no, no. So I need to take him to work today. But before I do that, I need to get the dogs inside, just in case. Elvis, come here. Elsie, come here. <laughs> do, you, do you see her? Oh, she looks so sad. Come on, come on, Elvis. Hello. Come on. Come on. Bye. You guys are all wet. That's probably my fault for not getting inside earlier. Good boy. Good shake. I know you want to go back outside, but it's raining. And it's going to hail. It's going to be nasty. You guys are nasty. Just kidding. But I'm going to head over to Jesus's now to take him to work and everything. So we'll see you later. Okay, hello everyone. It is the next day, which is the... I'm not sure. Let's see what day it is real quick. The... Thursday. April 18th. Okay. So basically what's going on is I've been working on these. <laughs> They're macrame wall hanging things that I'm going to be selling at the Founders Day thing that I mentioned before. I'm going to scoot you around a little bit. It's easier under control. But basically, I've been making macrame stuff all week and working on studying all week too. And, excuse me, new dolls. I need to get a video done and I'm also part of a swap and I'm also part of a collab. So I need to get my collab doll done. But now I'm focused on this girl. Cause the one that sh that's actually for the video that's over there, she's d she's done. But there, I made four dolls and they're all part of. Excuse me. <laughs> I made four dolls and they're all part of a series. And this one is the is one of them. So I need to make her a little outfit for her for her thing. What else is going on? Um, these rocks. I'm also selling these the Founders Day thing too, so I need to stockpile more of these. I want to fill each of these tubs with some. Not to like to the very top, but I only have like three in each of them so far, which is kind of sad. I've been pending some more over here, but they're kind of on the sideline right now. 
because I actually want to get some Posca pens from Daiso a little bit later because they're, they're more handy because for each of them I want to put my signature on the back and painting them with Sharpies is a pain in the butt and also kind of ruins the Sharpie so I'm going to use Posca pens instead so we'll see more of that later. Um, oh I also need to do more dragons like that over there but for now I'm working on the stall real quick. Also, if you're wondering why she's suffocating with this plastic on her head, I need to make her a little hat. So that'll come later. I need the right clay for it. When I go to Daiso, I'll probably get the Daiso clay and make her a little hat out of it. But yeah, that's all that's going on for now. I probably need to charge this battery. I need to iron this fabric too. That's what I was doing here. So yeah, I'm going to continue with my day and I'll see you later. Hello, I haven't vlogged in literally forever. What day is it? It is May 2nd, and I have something special planned. Let me turn on a light real quick. Sorry, I haven't been vlogging by the way. I had this weird period where I was unmotivated. I'm still kind of getting out of it, but you, you know. <laughs> anyway, since it's May and Cinco de Mayo is coming up, I don't celebrate it personally, but I saw Rant and Link do a salsa taste, te uh, like a jar, like jar of salsa taste test this morning and I was like, I want to make good salsa. <laughs> so I'm making my salsa today. So I got some chips. This is for um, making a reusable shopping bag because I'm trying to be more eco-friendly. So hopefully I can make some of these and replace them with, and replace the, replace the last bag with these. So I'll show you that later. Just move that to the side. Got some chips because you always need, need chips with salsa. Whoops. I got my ingredients here. I already made a video on how to make this salsa on my vlog channel, which is where this is going, so I'll link it in the eye or something. But I don't know if you want to see a time lapse. You do? Okay. The onion made me cry so much that I got my goggles for my swimming class that I took in high school to cut them. I'm such a baby. Salsa. Yeah. Okay, Jesus wanted me to send him a picture of my finished salsa, so I'm going to take a picture and send it to him real quick and see what he replies. There it is. No, it's not. There it is. So I'm going to send it to him and I'll, sh and I'll show you what he said. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on my tote bag thing. Okay. I made this bag, it's right here, I'll, I'll lower it down a little bit so you can see. Basically, my pattern I made was a little bit too big. This is gigantic, I need to adjust the pattern because I have one that's even bigger and one that's smaller, the smaller one is practical I think, but this is the pattern I used, I really need to adjust it, I think I need to take a little bit off here and maybe a little bit here since the straps are two inches, I think. I got this pattern from the Sorry Girls when they did their Eco Hacks video. So, I, I tried to do what they did, but clearly it didn't work. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can adjust this so I can hopefully waste less fabric and maybe, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to ya. <laughs> 